I would start with the technology is not the limitation here. It, it's almost, not quite, becoming a commodity when you talk about what's available in commercial companies for AI. To me, it's more of culture, talent, and data management, and, and I'll get into very briefly each one. Culture and talent management are just intertwined. And what we need are more people that just have the breadth and depth of understanding of what AI can do, and more importantly, how you move it from research and development or pilots, prototypes, into true operational production that is scaled across the Department of, of Defense, and the effects are scaled. That leap is what we're really talking about, and until we grow another few years, five years, maybe more, a generations, not generation singular, generations plural, of people that really have experience doing it, it's still very intangible to a lot of people. They just can't grasp what this thing called AI is. So one of our biggest impediments is one, building that cadre of people. We need outside expertise, which we're soliciting in the Joint AI Centers to bring people in and help us, help us accelerate our ability to understand and, and adopt AI across the force. And, and that is tied with the culture, a culture that begins to understand the art of the possible in AI. How should we actually operate differently? When we talk about in the DOD AI strategy that AI will change the character of warfare, what does that mean? How do we write operating concepts? How, how do we experiment with to understand how to write those operating concepts? So this idea of culture and talent in growing a force of people who are just used to working with AI, it's going to take us a little bit of time. And then data management. If you, if, if you accept, as almost everybody that I've talked to does, that data is that strategic asset, that fuel that really allows you to do AI and to do it across the entire department, we have a lot of work to do on the data management. Uh, and through the, the work we've done with Project Maven, uh, we found uh, we were working much longer and much harder on the data management side of the AI delivery cycle or life cycle than we ever expected when we first started. No surprise to anybody in industry who warned us that's where you're going to spend more time than you would ever expect is on the data front end of it. So that idea of culture, talent, and data I would throw, throw out there. Acquisition and contracting comes up frequently. We, we have we find ways to get through that. It is not a simple process in the department, but there are now so many different vehicles available to allow you to get uh, commercial companies and even other big defense companies on contract and do it rapidly. It does take some creativity at time and, it, and the Congress has been very helpful in trying to give us more flexibility and leeway, but that, that's an area where which is sort of constant attention is required to make sure you can actually get these things delivered and fielded in, in, a, in a much more uh, rapid uh, timeline than we're used to doing in some of our other big capabilities in the past.